At Joby, we think about our software as needing to be like the central nervous system in our bodies. It needs to deliver real-time communications between all of the various parts of our operation while making sure that they all work coherently together, an operating system for our operations. During my time at Uber, we ran high-tempo air taxi operations in New York City, and we quickly learned that software like this just didn't exist. Even the most sophisticated helicopter operators relied on systems and FAA-approved manuals and procedures designed for a different purpose in a different era. Connecting to Uber, while seamless on the surface, required a dance of phone calls and emails and even hard copy printouts to stay compliant with approved procedures. In a similar vein, booking a privately chartered aircraft today is remarkably inefficient. It typically requires several rounds of emails or calls just to get a price quote. We knew that to achieve the type of on-demand, multimodal trips we want to deliver, we'd have to do things very differently. So we started to build the tools that would bring that ultra-responsive central nervous system to life, distilling what we were learning at Uber into an Elevate OS, or operating system. In 2021, Joby acquired Uber Elevate and brought on board critical members of the original team. Since then, we've grown the team and built out the idea of Elevate OS, this time with the added benefit of doing it right alongside the team that's developing our air taxi operations allowing us to perfect both sides of the equation. The operating system we have developed includes an electronic flight bag for the pilot that allows them to complete their pre-flight and post-flight checks, informs them about the passengers and the weight and balance of the aircraft, and contains their duty assignments and logbook, both of which will be automatically populated via our flight planning system. There's also an operations core which manages aircraft and pilot availability, plans routes, maintenance, and landing pad access. Then, there's a mobile first rider app, which is the passenger interface, allowing people to book and pay for flights and allowing us to integrate with our partners, Uber and Delta in the US and other partners internationally. And finally, there's an intelligent matching engine that sits behind all this and brings it together, connecting a passenger with an aircraft, a landing pad, a pilot and a route all in the blink of an eye versus the hours or days it takes to organize a charter aircraft today. The really great thing is that Elevate OS brings together a range of world-class capabilities into one system, while still allowing us to add best-in-class third-party applications where that makes the most sense. And as we've developed the system, we've learned several important things. First, and this might sound obvious, but all those pieces have to be able to speak to each other. They have to be built in the same architecture with the same language and the same intent in order for them to be able to deliver the flexibility and the speed we're looking for. That's why we are building an operating system that spans across all of our operations, not just a grab bag of tools. There are many great examples in both the automotive and the airline worlds where new and legacy software tools have failed to work well together, leading to operational chaos. Next, we learned that there are significant benefits when you do build these systems together. And one great example of that is maintenance. In a rudimentary form, the system can start to demonstrate intelligence, identifying when an aircraft won't be available due to scheduled maintenance. But as that system matures and learns about the real-time performance of the aircraft, it can start to predict maintenance requirements, helping to reduce downtime and improve safety. And of course, it's constantly learning about the performance of our aircraft, drawing data from the entire fleet. And finally, we've seen the remarkable value of having our software team work hand in glove with our operations team, co-designing our processes and our software for the very best performance and customer experience. Something you just can't do if you're not building both parts yourself. Since Joby's acquisition of Elevate, we've constantly improved, tested, and iterated this software. And in fact, some of these tools are already on their third full iteration. And with that experience, it's abundantly clear to us that it is just not feasible to pick up an air taxi and drop it into an existing airline operation. A few years ago, a book came out on the history of Amazon, The Everything Store by Brad Stone. One of the things that struck me was that Amazon was able to launch Amazon Prime and redefine the way we think about buying online precisely because it had built a custom software foundation to manage its operation, allowing Amazon to operate at a speed and scale no legacy system could come close to matching. We'd think about our software in a similar way. And since being awarded that Part 135 certificate more than two years ago, we've had the opportunity to gain incredibly valuable experience running the software we've built in a real life environment. We've successfully operated a true on-demand rider app. We used our Cirrus aircraft to simulate the Joby rider experience, letting our team members book flights using our rider app, giving them free choice of timing, origin, and destination within the range of the aircraft. We used automation tools to match team members to aircraft and other team members with similar plans to each other. By October of last year, we were using the pilot app, the rider app, and our operations core in tandem with one another and successfully processing payments for our flights, 
all with our own software, including for external customers booking our Cirrus SR22 for charter flights. In other words, we were already running software today that is much more efficient than anything you can buy off the shelf for Part 135 operations. We still have plenty to do, but the experience we are gaining is critically important for us and something that really sets Joby apart. As we look ahead, we'll continue to run and iterate our software in an FAA compliant manner, and we look forward to sharing more about our operating system and the various apps we are developing as we approach commercial service.